guys, welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide here in Madeira and today we're heading up to Monte as promised and we're going to discover the area. There's a couple of new things that I can't wait to see. Uh, we're going to try and do some sled rides. We're, at the moment we're in the cable car, the best way to get up to Monte. You don't want to drive up there, you don't want to park up there. Um, the best way is in fact to go up by cable car. One way ticket is 11 euros each. Um, so uh, you do want, we're doing one way uh, because we're planning on coming down uh, a different route. Uh, I think personally it's the best way to do it. But for now, that's what it is. Stick around, we're gonna be exploring Monte. We're gonna be checking what to eat, what to drink, the sled rides, the tropical garden. Um, and just basically some tips and tricks about the best way to discover Monte. Stick around, this one's gonna be fun. Well, that was fun. I think for 11 bucks per person, just to get those huge views of Funchal, you get to see Funchal, the whole of Funchal, I think uh, well worth it. So, Coffee? Coffee. Coffee. Let's go get some coffee. So life is short and uh, today we're going to be eating some carbs, you know, to kind of uh, offset the effects of all the drugs we've been taking. <laughs> Just kidding, uh, jokes aside, we're here to show you the best, the best stuff. So we're here at Land uh, Coffee and Food, uh, it's called Land, uh, one of the most exciting um, newish places in Funchal, specialty coffee shop and one of the very few places where you can find really, really good coffee. I mean, that coffee that comes from like Colombia and Ethiopia and all those, those exotic locations. And uh, it's right outside of the entrance to the cable car. So you just get out of the cable car, you go down the steps and you're here uh, in this place. So we're gonna try some food. We're gonna show you a little bit about this stuff and then we're gonna carry on going. I don't wanna stir it. I don't wanna stir it because it's so pretty. Let's go. Did you take a photo? <laughs> You're fired. We've got juices, calorie bombs, but we only love once. So. Alright, this is uh, eggs with avocado on some fancy bread. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know the name. We got uh, chicken wings over here. Looks great. Kind of like brunch style. I think this is what this whole thing is about, really. They mentioned that they've got uh, basil ice cream, and I'm a sucker for anything basil. Oh, it's good. It's good. I'm gonna have one more bite before I pass it on to you guys. So this is Land Coffee. It's open from 10 till 6 basically. I think it's quarter to 10 that they open. You want to try and get here as early as possible to kind of avoid the, the crowds and the groups and things like that. And I promise that I will show you more of Madeira real soon, not just, not just the face, okay? So don't, don't get worried about the face. Madeira is coming. So like and subscribe to the channel because we're going to be showing you loads of Madeira stuff throughout till the end of the year and next year as well so stick around it's going to be great we're going to move on also follow these guys on instagram uh, for any kind of special uh, special events special menus all that kind of stuff every now and then they do some special events like they did here last night with andre uh, in the film community the filmmaker community they had an event here called shortcuts so um, Every now and then they do, do do that, but open from 10 till six. And I think that's it. So what a lot of people don't realize is that there's actually two cable cars that come up to Monte. There's the one from Funchal and there's this one behind me, which comes from the Botanical Garden. Another garden, of course, one of two gardens that is also mentioned in Monte or associated with Monte. We've got the tropical garden up here and then just 
east of the, the, the main cable car entrance that we just got off is the botanical garden. So in order to get to the botanical garden, there is this second cable car which passes this little valley, uh, which has got a little bit of forest, quite different to the cable car that comes up from Funchal. Personally, I think the best way to come up to Monte is the Funchal cable car, but you can, of course, also come up via the botanical garden. There is also the option to go from here to the botanical garden, come back and then carry on in Monte. So one of the best tips that I can give you as well when it comes to Monte is to take your time. It's not a place that you're gonna go past one hour, two hours. You know, you can spend a good afternoon or morning or whole day uh, if you do this kind of thing as well. There's also hiking. There are some hiking paths that start over here. Remember, we're just east of the cable car entrance. So there's Levada dos Tornos and there's also Levada do Bon Sucesso. Uh, both of these are very pretty and I'm hoping that one of these or both of these are gonna come up in a future episode, so stay tuned for that. Uh, oh, and one more surprise coming soon, something brand new in Monte no one's ever seen. This is the tropical garden over here on the left. It's 12 euros 50 each per person and highly recommended from my side. I think it's a stunning place. Lots of beautiful art as well all over the garden and lots of beautiful, beautiful flowers. So definitely a must here in Monte. And now we're gonna go and check out the church. Uh, which of course is uh, one of Funchal's biggest landmarks. This is one of the most emblematic churches in Madeira. Many times you can see it down from Funchal, uh, lit up. There are lights on it and at night it lights up. It's very beautiful. So you can come up here and explore uh, all of this kind of stuff. There's a lot of history here. There is the grave of the last Austro-Hungarian Austro yes. Austro uh, emperor um, somewhere here. I'm not usually in this place, so I, I kind of don't know too much about the history. But I know that Monte is uh, pretty much an old noble part of Funchal. So, you know, an emperor, this would be a, a good place for an emperor to be exiled. Beautiful place and even if it's just for an Instagram shot of uh, the staircase, you're doing great. And of course, beautiful views of Funchal. Some of the best views of Funchal are from Monte, uh, day and night. So if you're not interested in paying tickets to go and see gardens, there's all this free stuff right here, right? So there's loads of beautiful little paths. We're just west of the church and there's all these beautiful paths out here that are very Instagrammable. There's flowers and trees and all sorts of really, really nice places. The guys are hanging up the lights. Of course, uh, it's almost Christmas here in Madeira and Christmas is a big deal. We're gonna try and show you as much of that as possible on this vlog as well. So without me having to say it again, like and subscribe to the channel because you're gonna see loads of cool Madeira stuff. So they're busy hanging up the lights and there's over 500 million lights that come up in Funchal light bulbs. It's crazy, 500 million light bulbs. So stick around for Christmas. Christmas in Madeira is amazing. And this over here is the surprise. So this place you can see looks brand new. Uh, it's just been renovated. And this used to be the old train station. There used to be a train that came up from Monte, from Funchal, should I say, from Funchal up to Monte. Everyone would see Monte, whatever, and then take the sled ride down. This used to be a big tourist attraction. And of course, a way to transport things up and down from Monte. So, to be honest, I also don't know a lot about the train, but I've been very, very excited to see this place um, just because it's, it's incorporating a little bit of history that perhaps has been in some way lost. So let's go inside, let's check it out. And then we're gonna head, head down on the sled ride. Uh, it's gonna be Veronica's first time. She looks a little nervous, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let's, let's go and check out the the train station.
this really cool museum with all these facts about when the railway was built and each little phase where it went, what the trains looked like. Some old photographs really brings back that real aristocracy kind of feeling of Madeira back in the 20th century, 20th and 21st century. And before that, of course, Madeira was very popular with uh, all the aristocrats uh, and it was known as a place for the rich to come and vacation many, many years ago. So a lot of evidence about that, a lot of the construction and really old photos and it's just a real joy to see this kind of stuff. Uh, I believe Andrea has got an exposition here. You do, right? Down there. Yeah. So there's uh, Andrea's, uh, our filmmaker Andrea, of course, uh, is a very talented man and has his own exposition here. Until when? Until the 9th. Till the 9th of November. So if you're here before the 9th of November, you can check out Andrea's work as well. I think it's time to leave Monte. Huh? So we got one last thing that we have to do. You guys ready? Ready. Are you ready? Uh. No. Okay. So yeah, this is the sled ride of Monte. Uh, it's about 25 euros per person, I think it is. 25, 35, 45, one, two, and three people. Um, great fun going down the old uh, streets of Monte. And of course, one of the most emblematic things that you can do in Madeira and in Funchal. This is steep and it's fun. This is the end of the sled ride. You've got a little souvenir shop and some coffee and we've bought ourselves some souvenirs. Uh, I know that a lot of people don't do this kind of thing, but the photos are pretty cool. And it comes in this kind of thing, uh, so it's nice. There are some in the cable car as well. So uh, very much a touristic thing to do, but a really good afternoon well, sp well spent here in Funchal. So, that's it for today's vlog. We've got some great vlogs coming. Uh, we've got the uh, hiking guide, the do's and don'ts of hiking in Madeira. That's a video that we'll be producing very, very soon. And loads of great news. Like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for a tour guide, look no further. Hit the roadmadeira.com. We're giving away 21% discounts on everything booked and paid for until the end of this year. Uh, so you can book your trip for next year which of course we recommend to book in advance because we're a small company, we do a great job. So check out hittheroadmadeira.com, take advantage of the discounts, like and subscribe to the channel, there's some good things coming and let me know in the comments what you thought of the vlog, what you want to see, any kind of question about Madeira. I love uh, contacting you guys and this is all for you guys, so please let me know what you think of all of this. So before I forget, when you finish, in Monte, you still got to go down to the city center and it's a good 45 minutes walking down. The best way to leave Monte is by taxi, all right? They've got the prices on the board, the prices are fixed. You don't get scammed or any of that kind of stuff. I personally, I'm a big fan of using taxis in Madeira. The locals are awesome. And it's another opportunity for you to get some tips and some insight from a local. So. We're gonna go down by taxi. This is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's hit the road.